Hey guys, Raven here, and today we're going to talk about a question that I know I had personally uh, before the trail, and that is, which one should I choose? Would it be micro spikes or crampons, and which one would be the best for me? Um, there's a lot of debate and discussions going on uh, with hikers. What is the best? Which brand should I pick? And, and what should I actually bring with me? The real answer is you don't really need micro spikes or crampons before the Sierra. You can use them in San Jacinto for a short period of time, but it's not really a must. Um, and in reality, the difference between the two is in the techni technicality or based on the, the terrain itself and what you're wearing. So I'll start with uh, crampons because these are, uh, I would say, they're very common on, on different sites and, and different uh, uh, shops, and those are very bulky. You add them to your boot, uh, to your alpine boot or to your hiking boot. Um, they kind of have different kind of closures on them, different kind of, whether it's it's kind of like some sort of like um, a very rigid base, and you'll put your, your shoe, and then of course you have some sort of ways to, to close or to, whether it's Velcro or something like that, to make it to, to, to grip your shoe with it. But what identifies them um, in, in kind of the, the way that they look is they have really long teeth, metal teeth, with certain angles. Not just in the bottom, but also in the front. And you'll use them when you have a terrain with rock and ice, a lot of ice, or certain uh, incline that is very icy. Um, most of the time it's not really needed on the PCT. I know some people have used them in the past and they said it was great for them. But since most hikers would probably pick uh, trail runners opposed to boots, and, and this is a completely different discussion, I would say for the terrain of the PCT and the weight, you'd probably better off go with micro, micro spikes. And micro spikes are basically smaller, small spikes, metal kind of teeth, uh, that you have like a ring made of silicone or made, made of rubber, some sort of rubber, you put it on your uh, trail runners and on your uh, boots. It, it matches both. Um, and then you basically, in a certain terrain, just cross it. You cannot use, or you can of course use them, but they're not good to be used when the snow is soft. When it's snow, when it's icy, early morning, it's perfect because then the snow is packed. It's, uh, the grip is better and you are better of using them at that time and that's also in gen generally the rule of thumb when you cross the Sierra start early when the snow is packed you'll have better traction on your uh, um, while walking and you'll do less post hauling um, you'll see that uh, remember that advice for in two places uh, John Muir Pass and also uh, Forrester Pass the earlier start the better it is and better off you are so when it comes to um, to the micro spikes themselves, there are a few brands out there. A lot of hikers could, you know, swear their life uh, uh, with Catula. Uh, to be honest, Catula is great. It's it's a great brand, uh, but also it's pretty expensive. Um, the other there are other brands out there that do the exact same thing. To be honest, I have a confession. I bought something that is a completely different thing. I bought a knockoff from China. Um, you could see that it's not silicone and it fell apart uh, during a, a certain pass. I don't remember, I think it was Forrester uh, after the climb. It fell, one of them fell apart and I had to kind of duct tape it. And again, it fell apart with some sort of like, uh, in, in some miracle, you know, it held throughout most of the Sierra, but then again, it was not good. But the ones on Amazon, with a lot of reviews, I had no idea what I'm buying. The ones on Amazon are pretty great, um, and you have different options. My personal suggestion is, is whether you'll choose Catula or whether you'll choose things like uh, Unigear, which is, I think, my preference, and that's a heads up for a uh, hiker named Indy that I hiked with uh, that introduced me to them. Um, what I like about Unigear is the fact that, or in general, the micro spikes, you have the ring, of course, uh, the ring of silicone, or rubber in the bottom, you have a lot of, uh, some sort of metal piece with chains with a lot of teeth, and that goes in the bottom of your shoe. 
Um, it's pretty easy to to put on, put off at any point of time before you know. You wake up early morning, you go to a cross, or when there's it, it's snow packed, you put it on. Really simple, um, and then you just take it off when you don't need it when it's pretty rocky and you're past the snow. Uh, but what I like about the Unigear is that it has some sort of Velcro at the top. Uh, what happened to me with the last uh, at the last uh, uh, crossing, I think it was around. Um, Maybe it was after John Near Pass or something like that. Uh, I lost uh, a micro spike. I had no idea that I lost it because I was post hauling so much. We got to I think it was already ten o'clock in the morning. Um, we started early, but there's a, there was a lot of snow, um, and I had no idea where was it. So what uh, the Velcro does is it gives you one extra layer to make sure that it's tight. And it's already there, and these guys cost around 30, 30 bucks each, and I think uh, they're pretty good. It's pretty much half of Catula. If you would like to have Catula, or you already own them, or even there are other ones like uh, uh, Uel Baby, something like U E L Baby uh, Micro Spikes, um, and or crampons, uh, you know, whatever, which one, whatever. Uh, you'll choose what you can do if you want to have the same security is to buy um, cable organizers. Cable organizers is something that I actually bought with me. I don't know why. Don't ask me why I thought I'll need them. I bought them and they appear to be really helpful. I use them in diff different ways. You can buy them in bulk. I dropped a whole lot of them in a hiker box when I started for and Scouts. But they're just a long piece of Velcro with some sort of a, a kind of like a loop, a plastic loop, and you can you can actually put them, if this is your shoe, you can put them from one side to the other and close it to make that uh, micro spike sit better on your shoe. Uh, Unigear comes built in with them and it's actually, you know, it's built in, in, in that uh, micro spike. If you don't have that, if you already bought your uh, micro spikes, think about adding those to your uh, micro spikes to secure them. Another extra tip uh, before I let you go is, and this is a uh, heads up for Yogi who uh, uh, taught me that, is the envelopes that come from, uh, that you can pick up at any point of time in the post office from USPS, from the, uh, the US post office. Uh, they're just simple envelopes that you can send stuff with. Those are as strong as Tyvek. So if you have something like a micro spike and you don't want to carry the bag with you for extra weight, you can put the tie back in. It would not pierce it. It's pretty strong and solid. It would not pierce your backpack. It's really thin, just an envelope, and you can put different things in it. Uh, highly recommended. I use it later on uh, for my fishing gear that I carried in the Sierra. Uh, that's it. If you have any comments, uh, I would love to hear what kind of uh, gear are you taking uh, to this year? If you have any questions, what is your preference when it comes to micro spikes or uh, crampons and why? Uh, feel free to comment below and uh, register, register to uh, this channel. All the best and have a great, uh, great planning for the hike.